Hey everybody, Arnaldo Offerman here with Arcagus Video Manuals. Now this tutorial works for both Grand VJ and Media Master, but for demo purposes, I'll be using Media Master. Now if you are a Media Master user, I'm sure you've heard that the upcoming version of Media Master is going to support NDI out. What is NDI out? Well, in a nutshell, it's video over IP, not just one video, but multiple video streams. NDI requires a high capacity gigabit router or switch. This means that while it can work over wireless, it's not gonna work very well. So just keep that in mind. However, this video isn't about NDI out capabilities. This is about NDI in. You see, Arceus doesn't support NDIN, at least it's not built in natively, but you can add it on. So why would you want to use NDI when there's other technologies like Siphon or Spout? Well, for one, NDI is cross-platform compatible. So you can see here that I'm on Windows, actually using Parallels, and I'm also going to be using my Mac at the same time. Now, I have this emulated to be a whole separate computer, and the beauty about NDI over Spout and Siphon is that aside from the fact that it is cross-platform compatible is that it works over IP much easier than Siphon or Spout. Whereas with the latter two, you're going to need some sort of extra plugin or app. NDI is much better, uh, pretty much just native as far as working over IP. And the other thing is that you don't need an app to be NDI compatible. And this is because of the free software that NDI gives you. With Spout, you have to have a Spout compatible app that actually outputs Spout. And then the same thing with Siphon. And this can be a problem when not many apps do have that. You know, let's say you want to do quick, or excuse me, a PowerPoint or a Keynote, or in this case, I have my Jamtech software. So let's go ahead and get that set up so you guys can see how it works. The first thing you're going to want to do is go to NDI's website, and that's at newtech.com and you're just going to download the free software. Now there's tons of different software, including one that turns your phone into a web camera. I have not had a chance to play that yet, so I can't tell you how good it is, but what you're going to download is this guy right here. This is the New Tech Connect. Now the Windows version and the Mac versions both offer their pros and cons, and this is not a limitation of the developer, but a limitation of the software itself. Let's go ahead and go over what goes with what comes with Windows versions. Let's go ahead and look to see what the NDI kit installs in Windows. There's a lot of different apps, but the only ones you need to worry about are Scan Converter. Scan Converter basically grabs the output or an area of the app and sends it to NDI. Virtual Camera creates a virtual camera that receive that, receives that input. And that's why it's gonna work with Media Master or Grand VJ because both of them work with virtual webcams. And then you also have the Studio Monitor. That's only to monitor incoming NDI streams, which you're not gonna need if you're using Grand VJ. But if for any reason something doesn't work, this is a good app to test to make sure it does see everything. Okay, so the Mac version does not have the virtual camera. And that's because Apple doesn't play as well with virtual cameras to appear as real cameras. So they don't have one developed. The scan converter is the next thing. On Windows, scan converter is beautiful, right? So I've got my jam text here and I can just go into my file and I can grab the actual display. But on Windows, it doesn't work like that. There's used to, and there's other softwares out there that do something similar, such as Minicam. But the problem with Windows is that if, let's say it grabs this window and I put another window on top of it, or let's say I'm grabbing this window and I put this window on top of it, now there's gonna be a big black square where the other window's on top. So what they did is they created what's called a point of interest. And when you do a point of interest, uh, let me grab their scan converter here. When you do their point of interest, or it's called, excuse me, it's called a region of interest. All right, configure region of interest. Anything inside this window will send through NDI. So for Windows, if you're going to use a Windows computer and you have something else running, I recommend using a second display. If you're only pulling out directly from Windows, then you're into Windows itself, then you should be good or into another source. I mean, uh, so for example, if I'm using Jamtex on a Windows computer, I would actually put my Jamtex display on a second display and then drag this region of interest to capture that entire second display. 
that is a limitation of Windows, which is why they've created that region of interest. We're going to go ahead and close this for a second and let's get everything set up. So first I have my virtual input and on my Windows I have my scan converter. So my scan converter is working and my virtual input or my virtual webcam is right here. And if I right click, it sees it right there. Yippee skippy. Now let's launch Media Master. So we've got Media Master open. Let's go ahead and grab a webcam. So on the camera section, there it is there. I have my Minicam virtual webcam. I have my regular webcam and I have my NDI. So I'm going to grab that and bring it up. And there it is. It couldn't be any easier. And that is using the free NDI tools that is available on the new tech website. So hopefully this video helps you guys out a little bit. I'm really excited because unlike Spout and Siphon, which are 100% free, the NDI app is free, but there is a whole system and architecture that they sell that works around it. So there's always going to be money that's funneling those development costs, and that's always a good thing. Check out New Tech's website, especially if you want a good PTZ camera. They have them that work over the NDI protocol, so you don't need a capture card for it. There's tons of different things that they do offer. My name is Ronaldo Offerman with Arceus Video Manuals. Now, again, this works for Media Master and for Grand VJ. The process for Grand VJ is pretty much exactly the same. Thank you guys so much for watching. Have a great evening and God bless. Hey, I really hope you enjoyed this video. If you want to see more like it, make sure you hit the subscribe button. Gear it first honest reviews, incredible gig logs, lots of tips and tricks, and more tutorials than any other YouTube channel. I guarantee it or your money back.